I started to hear about The Witch last year. There were some people who saw it at a few of the film festivals and were raving about how it was this throwback to the slow burn kind of horror films is what a lot of people said, which immediately got me excited because I love slow burn horror films. Now, there are a lot of fast paced horror films that also work, but they're usually more horror thrillers. They're like roller coaster rides, but the slow burn horror films are the ones that stay with you where you're like oh my god what the hell did i just see you're walking out to your car and you're looking over your shoulder uh, you know what the hell's behind me ah i have always been a big fan of those kind of movies the witch finally came out and i did get to see it and yes it's really good it's about this family of devout catholics that are living on the edge of the woods in the 1600s And life out there is harsh. They're trying to eke out a living off the land. And meanwhile, what is in the woods is kind of creeping into their lives. The family's living out there, and there's six of them. The oldest daughter's playing with the baby, and it gets kidnapped and taken to the woods, and they can't find it. They show that in the trailer. That starts off this chain reaction where the family all starts to become distrustful of one another. And there's things that happen that help to punctuate that and essentially turn the family against one another. The acting in this was phenomenal. The lead girl, Thomason, was so good. I'm usually not really into a lot of the old kind of frontier type movies. I don't know. Some of them, they just come off kind of boring sometimes. This one, I thought they nailed it. They did a really good job of showing how hard it was to be living out there especially when shit went wrong the neat thing about this was the way that they layered the evil in the movie there was something in the woods that was manipulating the family and then there were things that were coming out of the woods that were also kind of bringing their evil in so some of the things you're not entirely sure you're like okay well is that where the evil is coming from is this where the evil is coming from from there's a lot of guessing and watching and seeing people's reactions and it made the movie very interesting you invested yourself in this i'm sure this is a movie that seeing it again you'll notice a lot of little things that you maybe didn't see the first time through it had an excellent creepy vibe that did stay with you throughout the movie All the audio cues that they had, just these little weird noises, these chants, did very much get under your skin. I have talked to a few people who've seen this in the theater with a crowd, and crowds with horror films, sometimes that really gets into the movie, and they jump and they scream and they get into the movie, and all the right things. You get that big crowd experience. And then you get what I heard from more than a few people. The audience for this... They were laughing, they were making fun of the characters, and they're, oh, why are these people talking stupid? Just uh, not really getting into the spirit of the film. And unfortunately, that will really ruin the experience. Because then you're getting annoyed at the people, or you're like, yeah, why don't they do that? Instead of just letting the movie creep you out. There's a lot of horror movies where if you sit there and you overanalyze it, you're not going to enjoy it. You have to put your mind into what's going on and, for lack of a better description, allow it to creep you out. And if you're in an audience full of people that are laughing and fiddling around with their cell phones, then it's going to ruin it for you. Theater I saw it in, it was me and two other people. So it was dead silent and I was able to just pay attention to the film and enjoy it on its own merits. The Witch is a terrific horror film. The directing was great. The sound design was great. The acting was impeccable. That impressed me probably most of all. Also, I know some people who complained about the ending. The ending, out of everything. I'm not going to spoil it. But that totally got under my skin. The whole movie was unpleasant. But then the ending was really uncomfortable. So, well done. I liked that a lot. I don't know what people were bitching about because I thought that was the perfect way to end it. If you like stuff like The Omen and the original Halloween and It Follows, then go see this one in the theater. If you're a bigger fan of the movies like Ouija or horror films that are just jump scare central, you will most likely hate this film. So slow burn horror fans, check this out in the theater or at the very least, rent it. But million mile an hour jump scare horror fans, don't bother 
you're probably not going to like this.